I won't stand for it. Yeah, l- let me let me get your take, uh, really, on 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 China in terms of the influencing campaign there uh, that is underway. We know that there's a massive espionage campaign uh, in terms of uh, mining uh, data from America and having perhaps uh, the opportunity to blackmail people. How are they influencing uh, federal and state and local representatives? Can you tell us about that? Well, as much as I can tell you is that, you know, what China is, again, doing at the at the local state federal level um, is engaging and they attempt to lobby uh, to lobby um, business leaders, elected officials, uh, members of Congress uh, and to to influence them. They try to do that overtly, but where they're not successful there, then they covertly coerce, uh, intimidate, bully. They use middlemen and proxies to try and influence and ultimately um, blackmail in some cases or extort um, uh, elected officials, business leaders, and others to support pro-China policies. And again, this is um, systematic and on a scale that no other country is is doing. And and so when we talk about malign foreign influence, um, multiple countries are engaged, but no one at the level that China is. It's your integrity, John Radcliffe. Final question here. We know what China is trying to do, influencing various officials on the local, state and federal level. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, the GOP leader, also told me that he's been trying to put together a China task force, but Nancy Pelosi will not allow her members to be on that task force. Uh, So you've got some members leaking things selectively about Russia, not talking about China. I haven't heard one word about the espionage campaign and the bad behavior of China from the president's critics on the left. So I ask you, does Congress have a problem with China? Are we going to hear that there is influencing going on of sitting congressmen and women? Well, a um, lot to unpack there, Maria, and some of that's um, outside of my jurisdiction. So my role as the DNI is to keep Congress informed of threats to the country. I think I've made it profoundly clear that China is a grave national security threat in so many different respects, including malign foreign influence, including um, uh, uh, sophisticated, massive efforts to influence policymakers, decision makers, including members of Congress. Um, and I'm going to continue to inform, uh, you know, the public and, uh, and, and Congress about those threats. Um, and so, you know, uh, again, unfortunately, we are in All a very right. political situation. And I think people are going to continue to try and spin a narrative that may not be accurate. And, uh, and I'm going to continue right. to put out the correct narrative. Director Radcliffe, we so appreciate your time. I want to apologize to you and our audience for some uh, issues we had with your picture. Once you do declassify that information, we hope you'll join us once again for a broader interview.